Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care. So today I'm doing something out of the ordinary. My client here is going to a wedding and she needed to have a style that was exactly the same as all the other bridesmaids, if not better. So we agreed to do a full sew-in. If you couldn't see, um, her hair is actually blonde or a honey blonde and i had to color her leave out to a brownish color to match her hair mind you this is someone's wedding so sometimes you have to do things that you typically wouldn't like to do um but as you guys know i preach healthy hair care healthy hair care and healthy hair care right so i know you guys aren't used to me doing stuff like this but i am a hairstylist at the end of the day um or of course my needle got stuck so i do offer some weaving services not much good morning but for her of course i'll do what i need to and i know that it's going to be done right so if you notice her hairline is left out on purpose um whenever i am weaving i do not put the hairline in um with a weaving service because i know what it can do and i know that that tension can typically cause more damage than good so I try to use the least amount of tension as I possibly can. And that also comes with the braiding. It also comes with the cap. So the tension gets, hey Chicago, you usually get more and more tension as you go along. Why? Because you braid it first, then you put the cap on and then they like to sew these very hard mesh caps onto the head. And I do not use hard mesh caps. I actually use soft elastic caps that have more play in them on purpose because they don't add more tension to the head what you don't want is just an aggravated client that walks out saying oh my god oh my god you know at the end of the day it's no it needs to be comfortable can you can you um moderate for me yeah uh, i absolutely love your work thank you good morning i wanted to know what kind of blow dryer do you use um i use a twin turbo Actually, I think you can get that at Sally's now. Can I come to your salon? I need an evaluation. Uh, you can definitely book an appointment for a consult. That's how you'd be able to come and see me. I'm by appointment only. So the hair that I'm using is actually my line of hair, which I know is crazy because I never actually um, advertised that I actually have a line of hair. This was back in older times, but this is Indian cashmere hair. So it's 100% Indian hair. Um, this is the only hair that I use for my braidless sew-ins. And it's also the only hair that I use in regards to sew-ins across the board. Unless the client specifically wants, and then I broke my needle, specifically wants to bring their own hair, which I try to lean against for my natural girls. Um, I actually like this hair because it can be worn straight. It can also be worn curly. It can be left in its natural state like this and worn wavy. Um, it's just you have the the styling choices is almost endless. So I actually like this hair over any other hair that I've used. Turn volume down. The volume. So this is what I'm using on her. Thank you. So her hair under here is actually like a golden color. And I did film a video of me doing her braid down and all of that. So I'm going to put that video up when I'm done. So you guys just get to kind of come along for the journey. Monique, I tend to stop everything I'm doing and jump on your live stream. <laughs> Thanks, Monique. Donna, beautiful hair. Thank you, Donna. Sharina, you are awesome. Thank you, Sharina. Hey, Kat. Good morning, everyone. What did I say? Um, Ryla, Rila. Maybe this is a dumb question, but what does that net help with? Um, it helps with longevity, and it helps to take the tension off of you braiding directly onto the hair itself. Some people like the net. Um, for my natural clients, I always stress it because it gives them longevity, and it doesn't allow that hair to rub against the tracks because you'll end up getting, like, matting. Mm -hmm if you don't have some type of barrier between the two. Can you flat iron that hair? Uh, you can, I'm actually gonna do that today. 
I'm gonna cut it and flat iron it. She's actually gonna get to the bob. Sharina, I wish I lived near you. I'm sure that you could do miracles with your skills. Thank you, Sharina. Oh, and just a reminder, guys, the summer sizzle sale is still underway. It ends on the 30th of July. Everything is 30% off, including, I actually did upload this hair. Um, the 14, 16, and 18 inch bundle set is $200 and then you get 30% off. So you can use the code SUMMER and also save 30% from July 26th to July 30th on all of the stuff on my site, including my units. So when I do my stones, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pull your hair back, okay? All of this hair, all of this hair is going to be left out on purpose. The reason is I don't want to put that into the sew and that is the easiest way for breakage and traction alopecia, which I know a lot of you are dealing with right now. That hair is going to be hidden. She has a finer texture um, of hair, so it will lay just fine. It won't revert back. It won't look crazy. So you guys keep that in mind when you're doing your, your wigs and your units and your sew-ins and all that stuff. I'm not against them, but just make sure you're doing the right thing in regards to care. Okay. I'm going to back you guys up some so you can see. There we go. Tonette says, thank you for making us love our black hair more. Oh, you're welcome, Tonette. Everybody knows my go-to is hair care. But I'm not going to let my girls go out and go to somebody else and freak up all the work that we've done. So I'd rather do it myself. Only wants to know how often should one be conditioned? Every two weeks. That's a good rule of thumb every two weeks my dear Sias says after you wash and condition hair do you apply anything else to hair before you blow dry it leave in conditioner leave in conditioner cat would like to know did you get her shipping address email I'm not sure, Kat. I don't actually check those emails, so my shipping assistant will let me know if there's any changes that need to be made. Is that moderator, Kat? Mm-hmm. No, Kat, I'm... Mm, DM me, Kat. DM me your address. I know, I know what you're talking about. DM it to me. Good morning. I'm a new subscriber and what I have used so far, your work is impeccable. Where are you located? I'm in Altamont Springs slash Orlando, Florida. If I can get this up, that would be awesome. So I didn't double her wefts on purpose. If you guys can tell, this is actually one bundle of hair. This is one bundle. And look how full it is. I am now going to the second bundle, which I'm not going to use the second, all of it. This is one bundle of hair. That's it. Yeah, you see that, That's one bundle. No double wefts, nothing. You want some hair? Ash says she wants some hair, guys. Who wants to donate to her? Mm -hmm. No, she's not. She lives in one of those high-rise apartments downtown Orlando. Oh. The ones that have doormans. You tried it. I got a butler too. Yeah, and then she pulls in with her Maserati and parks it across the parking lot. Oh. So no one would know. Which cat does not me? have an Instagram account to DM you? Uh, a cat just and then they'll send it to me. And then today is the day that I'm doing the giveaway. So at the end of this live, I am going to announce the winner. And then I will add that person who has won on Instagram. For those of you who weren't aware of the contest, basically all you had to do was screenshot and share 
one of the photos from my page, whether it be a picture you like, whether it be a product you like, whatever, and share it in your stories on your page and tag me in it and whomever did it and did it multiple times or however many times did it the most, they are the winner. So I do have the winner already, but I'm gonna announce it at the end of this live. Any more hair care questions? I feel like I'm doing like a four and object. I haven't done a weave in so long. And I'm saying he's staring at it like this girl is so long. I have not done a weave in that long. Like the last weave I did was micro links. I haven't done like a traditional sewing in a long time. Yeah, I'm going to here all day. Not all day, honey. Not all days. Hey, Jay. And I didn't double the weft on purpose because she's doing a bob. So it's already extremely full with it just being one to one and a half bundles. So imagine if I double wefted this. This would be huge huh you mean because your braids are too tight no, probably from her hands touching her face <laughs> i'm horrible <laughs> sherry sharina says will any of your products help with Angel, gen angel genetic alopecia. Angel genetic alopecia, that's genetics. So really and truly, there is no product that is going to change the genetic issue that you're having. It can only put a band-aid on the boo-boo. The, the fact that it's genetics, the only thing you can do is really slow it down. It's not going to fix it, though. So if you guys noticed, I cut my weft on this side on purpose. Whenever you're doing a sewing, to have even tension, it's always best to sew in the direction that your body naturally wants you to sew. So I sew from right to left, so that keeps my tension that way because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, then you sew left to right, but a lot of people don't know this when they do stuff, you know. No. I'm sorry, Sheena. I'm the bearer of bad news. A bearer. Uh. Let's see, by a show of hands and use the hand emoji or me, let's see how many of you get sew-ins on a regular basis. It's 44 of you, so I should be receiving 44 comments. If you get a sew-in, on a regular basis, raise your hand. Or just put a yes. Or a one. Okay. There we go. Now some people don't follow that race. Yes, one, or raise of hand if you get so ins on a regular basis. And don't be scared. We're not going to call you out. It's not the purpose. I just want to see how many people typically lean towards this style than anything else. I guess nobody wants to say. And me. You gotta raise your hand, Ash. Ash raised her hand. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some no's. Okay. That's cool too. You can put yes or no if you do or not. Count the yeses for me. I don't see any. One just went up. I think you gotta take. Uh, <laughs> no, yes, no, no, no. 
Ray says, hi, all. Crystal, you're doing a sewing? I know, I know. That hair is beautiful. Everybody's saying the same thing, and this is a bundle and a track. This is literally a bundle of hair and a track. You don't like sewings. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, 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 no. So I'm getting more no's than yeses. Never had one before. What? Never Never had a sewing? Pure and to take, pure and easy. Nineteen twenty, never. Yeah, you know what's wrong with that? Some people, that's like some people who've never left Florida in their life. Some people have never even left their county. Sewing for for everybody. I used to get sewings a lot, but I saw that it just did more damage than good for me. My my texture is too fine, so I can't support it. Never have one, but I want one for graduation. That's cool. Now let's ask the same question. If you wear a lot of wigs, comment yes or no. If you wear a lot of wigs, comment yes or no. No, I do not wear a lot of wigs. Yes, I definitely do. Yeah, no. Nope. Nope. No wigs. I have CCCA. Hey, ladies. Go ahead, Crystal. Yeah. Lanisha. Thank you, Lanisha. No wigs. I don't like wigs either. Never wear wigs. Scared that it will slide off. Everybody's afraid that the wig is gonna slide off. Don't feel bad. That's the first question I get from all of my clients who don't wear wigs. I'm scared if the breeze blows. Yes. No. No, not no to wearing wigs. No to wearing wigs. No wigs. So everyone just wears their own hair. That's awesome. Don't even. You wear all kinds of stuff. Ash, Ash wants to actually share an experience that she had with you guys yesterday. Come and share, Ash. Oh, wow. Jump on over here. What just happened? Ash is going to share an experience that she had in a salon yesterday. Mm, I don't think they want to hear. Yes, they do. All right. And I want to see five how many people, people got, have uh, read five, it. Girl, come over five here. Five people got to say they want to hear. So do you guys want to hear... <laughs> want to hear a review from Ash about a salon that she visited yesterday? And it's not the greatest review. So if you want to hear it, say yes. If you don't, say go, Ash. Go do something else. <clears throat> Never wigs or sewing. Hot flashes. No wig. Tell the tea. <laughs> Tell the tea, honey, right? No, no sewing or wigs. Want to try a wig, though. If you want to hear Ash's review, because this review is actually, wow. Speed sis. Okay. Okay, okay you got them all. Come over here. That was like 10 people. Quick, y'all answer that fast. All right, all right, all right. Come step over here. Do I gotta stand in the camera? Step over here. Just bring your chair. Bring your chair. You're a lot right now. Bring your gosh darn it chair. She's coming. She's about to spill the. You can sit right there. You can sit right there, honey. Right there. Ash is gonna share a review, and I want you guys to comment. <laughs> When she's, she's done, with I want you guys to come and tell me, have you ever experienced any anything of this sort? Just don't hey, hey, Kimberly, relax. Don't mention <laughs> she's gonna say any stolen. I'm not. Don't mention any names. Please. I'm not. All right. So pretty much um, went to a hair salon. I had an appointment for four o'clock. Um, you can moderate now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass the torch. So I had an appointment yesterday to get my hair braided as you guys can see i have the stitch braids um the appointment was for four o'clock it's, it's a <laughs> it's a local um braider um pretty much the appointment was at four o'clock she texted me at 3 50 she said that she um was on her way she was in tra no she didn't say traffic she was running late she'd be there 4 20 4 20 came 4 30 came 4 45 came no girl she didn't show up right so then I Brady texted words. her. Ash, your braids are beautiful. Oh, thank you. But wait. Let her finish. Let, Let her before finish. you say they're pretty, they're pretty I'm going to show you something. Okay, so um, 
uh what happened so i texted her and i'm like hey are you still on your way it was like 4 54 she said she's in traffic i'm like okay fine 5 16 comes around she texts me like hey i'm inside i'm in the car waiting for her she texts me hey i'm inside um do you did you leave already do you want me to just refund your money back on booksy the booking um site or whatever i said no i want my hair done i came inside the stylist daughter came came to me and she's like she didn't greet me she didn't say who she was she's just like are you here for such and such and i'm like yes so she puts her hand out for me to give her my bag of hair i'm like hi who are you <laughs> greet me hello you know common courtesy <laughs> working in a salon lanisha anthony you can stick with crystal bye girl bye. <laughs> crystal don't braid. i don't braid i don't do braids crystal doesn't braid i'm not a, a strong braider i don't even take that that on yeah so um so now they're pre-stretching the hair. And if you guys have been to braiding salons before, you know, in order to braid the hair, sometimes they have to stretch it out and get it piece by piece and they separate it and all that stuff. So now 5.30, I finally get sat in her chair. But when she calls me over to her, she's like, so in my mind, so you thinking, still even greeted. I, yeah, in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, are you not apologetic that you were late? Are you not going to tell me who you are? Um, so, so wait, the fact that your appointment was at four, she came in at four at five sixteen. Your appointment was at four thirty. My appointment was at four. She came in at five sixteen. Okay. And then I didn't sit in her chair till five thirty. That was actually the appointment time that I was supposed to be out the chair from four to five thirty because it was an hour and a half service. Anyway, so I sat in the chair. I showed her a picture of what I wanted, and which wasn't specified on the booking site. I said I had wanted the two braids in the middle. And she says, yeah, I know. Mm. Mm. My soul. <laughs> so, you know, I've, oh, my I've, heart. I've just mastered the art of just being, you know, whatever. I needed my hair done, y'all. I look like a bald-headed scallywag yesterday. So it was just like one of those things. I just said, fine, whatever. So fast forward to the end. I finish. I get up. I look in the mirror. She passed me a little small mirror. I don't at this point. I don't even want to look at the hair. I just want to get out. So the remain the balance was thirty seven fifty. So I gave her. It was possibly a culture thing. It could be, but it's also a person thing because I feel like if you work in a hair salon, you just have to know how to deal with customers, right? And if you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. So wait, let me finish. So thirty seven fifty. Oh, I gave her. <laughs> um, Lanisha Anthony says so it was free, right? <laughs> Basically, I really, to be honest with you guys, I was gonna give her ten dollars less. I was gonna give her twenty seven fifty. The balance was thirty seven fifty. The style total was seventy dollars. And when you know you guys book, they take half the deposit or whatever. So I gave her the exact change. I was petty. Yes, I did. Here you go. Here's your fifty cents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Deuces. Um. And so she asked me, "Oh, did you like your hair?" And I looked at it and I'm like. I didn't say anything, so I just looked at her like, why are you talking to me? Because this whole entire time, you made this experience terrible for me. I could have got over the fact that she was late, but it's just really how short she was with me. And this is just a le lesson for you guys, if any of you guys are stylists. Um, if you're dealing with clients, just make sure you're giving them the same courtesy you want them to give to you. If you're late, say sorry. Apologize, because if clients are late, we charge them a late fee or we cancel their appointments. So, yeah, that experience was just terrible. And it's the second bad experience I've had in Orlando. So, moving right along before I get into those comments. What's wrong with my hair, guys? Can y'all tell me? Not my gray hair. <laughs> you mean a gray red hair that you got? Right. I got red dye in my hair. But what's wrong? Okay, so she wants to... If you guys look at her hair and tell me what you see could possibly be wrong here. Tilt your head down a little bit more. There we go. Here, okay. Let me, okay, let me tilt it up. All right, now go forward. Turn around. What do you think could, is possibly wrong with his hairstyle? Stay just like that. Okay, what did they say? Okay, you're done. Say that. One hey, is better than the other. I told your ass. You don't listen. And someone else said that she got what she earned. Tips her bonuses for exceptional services. Hello. Absolutely. What else is going on with my hair? The braids are crooked. Thank the you. The braids are crooked. That is exactly the problem. Wait, I'm about to fold this shoe. The braids are crooked, guys. If you look here. Sorry to hear about that experience. It's uneven. Yeah. If you look here, it's not symmetrical to my nose. So that was my experience, guys. Unfortunately, I've already posted a review and 
I won't be blasting her because as stylists, we want to make sure that we... Kayla said it's still nice, but it's not perfect. Yeah. And Karen said the braids are off center. Yes. I want to be professional, um, but just for for all clients out there and for other stylists, just make sure that you guys are showing each other the same courtesy that you will want to be given. Um, and if you are late, just say sorry. You know what's so ironic? So it goes a long way. Me as a hairstylist, I book services from other hairstylists and I book like a client on mm -hmm. purpose because I feel like when hairstylists do services to fellow stylists, mm -hmm. they don't show the same respect that they would a client because mm -hmm. you're looking at us like, oh, you're just the same as me. Yeah. So instead of me asking for a, a stylist hookup or whatever, I don't even ask your price. I look at what your prices are and I come prepared. Yeah. But I do that on purpose because I know that at this point, if I don't get what I asked for, that's it. Yeah. That's it. If I don't get treated with the same respect that a client would, yeah. that's it. Time is up. Yeah. Time is up. And it's like people don't understand that yeah. when it comes on to, you're, you're in a service industry. This is a service industry. While 70% of it is what you're doing with your hands, like what I'm doing now, if I'm, I'm going to use you as an example, right? Stay right there. It's very abrupt. <laughs> hey, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, so you want your... Um, Can you give me my chips? You want your soda, girl? Yeah, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm stopping for water breaks. Crystal basically, she really wanted to so I really wanted to swing a drink. <laughs> but you get what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> if I'm treating my clients that way, they're not going to come back. They're not going to come back. So I'm going to treat Ash's experience as a learning experience for stylists out there who are coming up because I know I have a lot of you who subscribe to my channel and you guys are cosmetology students. One thing that I can tell you for a fact, social media has made people feel like they have arrived and what we're doing is not, it, it is a, you're, our, you're a gift to the client. You're a gift to no damn body. You treat everybody with respect because you want to be treated with respect. Don't let that social media following, don't let your YouTube subscribers, don't let that get to your head because guess what? You can be twiddling your thumbs and comment or review that you got is going to resonate to 20 million other people. And people are going to come and read and come back to you or come to you with that notion that you're already a nasty person. So guess what? Let me not go to you. Let me not even entertain you because I'm not going to give you my money. So use that whenever you're doing any service. Make sure you're doing that service to the 100% of your ability. Like you have no, no excuses. Be on time. If you're going to be late, be courteous. If you're going to have to reschedule because someone passed away, say so. Give the heads up. I understand things happen right at that moment. I'm sorry. Wait, took this right from me. I understand things happen at the spur of the moment sometimes. But guess what? Be courteous to that person because they have to be courteous to you. If you treat them with respect, they're going to respect you too. If you have a code of ethics or standard, they're going to have a standard when it comes on to you. What's the question? Absolutely. Um, they asked about if she was recommended by someone. I was texting. She wasn't recommended, but I wanted to give her a chance. She had, what I said, 35 five stars um, and 13 one stars. And a lot of them probably would have been zero stars, but they don't offer that. Okay, so she said that the lady had 35 five-star reviews and about 13 ones to negative zero one-star reviews, right? So keep this in mind. Even though she had 35 five-star reviews, the first thing we zone in on is the negative. Even though your, your good may outweigh the bad, as a client, the first thing you're looking for is, okay, was there a problem? Not, man, she does great work. Was there a problem and why should I not go to her? Next person. And I'm certain she's been passed up by hundreds of people because of those same reviews. All right, what was the question? Um, Kimberly just stated, she said, um, like you said, I can overlook the lateness if my hair comes out looking nice, but if you're late and rude and short with me, child, bye. Exactly. And Lenisha said, I hate someone eating over my head. Eat when I'm under the dryer or before. Or Girl, I, I chew gum and all. I eat curry chicken over my client's head. I'm just playing. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> playing. <laughs> we only talk about what we need to eat. Like, we were talking about lunch today. Some beauticians are very arrogant, but they are supposed to be there to serve you. Uh, thanks, Brandon. It's okay to be arrogant.
but know that you have to have value for people. You still have to value the people that's going to pay you for that service. So it's all right to be arrogant, but don't be arrogant to the level of disrespect. Carol. Arrogance. Carol. She has 35 friends and family, pretty much. <laughs> Carol. Carol. <laughs> shade, Carol. Shade. 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 Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. So I want to ask to share that with you guys because I am a big believer in the value of people. Um, in, a, in this industry, they've made it so... Put your feet on this for me, Mama. Let me turn it. In this industry, they've made it so complicated because those who do have good customer service get knocked out by the ones who don't have great customer service. It leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth about how, you know, how a stylist is going to treat them or why they shouldn't go to a salon and all of that. Because I asked a question the other day, and I wanted to see how many people go to the salon. I did a post on YouTube. If you guys don't go to YouTube posts, you definitely should start. So I did a post on YouTube, and I asked a question. I said, how many people go to a salon to get their hair done versus how many don't? Could you believe about 90% of the comments that I got was they don't go to a salon because of the time management, because of the professional stylist, um, because they were being rude to them. It was nothing to do with the service. It had nothing to do with the, the actual work. It was yeah. all the person. Talented. These people are talented, but they just... They're talented, but they act like you are coming to them because you need them. Right. When we need you to pay us for us to be able to need you. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's hand in hand. But that was our level of um, our learning experience on professionalism. And this is not to bash the stylists that offer the service because if they you never know who is watching or whatever but just let it be a learning experience that you're being watched no matter what mm -hmm. i don't even like to have personal conversations in front of my clients like i feel like that's that's just putting you in my vr a little too much number one number two that means that i'm standing ahead doing it lanisha says i wish you were here in montgomery alabama right love you thank you lanisha all right, so we used about one and a half bundles to do all of this hair. She can actually go home with it just so I should send her to people's wedding like this. <laughs> but she has a full bundle and a half single weft in her head. Someone posted something. Um, I so wish your blessed hands were close to me in Texas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ooh, my iron been on. This is why my irons burn out. Diamond says, I don't go to salons either. The last time I went, it took three hours to get feed in corn rolls. My mm -hmm. stylist was talking to her boyfriend on the phone and kept walking off. And then my braids, my braids were fired up. <laughs> 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 All right, took it down for me. Okay, so you're doing a bob, right? Correct. Short bob or long bob? Mm -hmm. Well, you want it kind of curled, right? Mm hmm Okay. So she's doing a bob, but she wants it kind of curled. So I am actually going to cut this part off. So here's a rule of thumb for you guys, and this is also something that I tell my clients. So she wants a bob, but she wants it to be curled, right? So I got 18 and 20-inch hair to do her bob. Mind you, the price point is not so so much more different. But, ooh, 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 you don't need your eye. It's okay. <laughs> but because I know she wanted her bob to be full, if I got longer hair, just like one or two inches longer, it's going to take out that sparseness that you get whatever you have bundles because the ends always are going to be sparse. So now she's going to have a full bob and not a little gritty gritty I can see your neckline kind of bob if that makes sense um Chris I wish I could clone you I need you for the hair that I have left <laughs> <laughs> you guys make me laugh thank you so much I appreciate all that love um Carol says as a customer that would be loyal to a good stylist. I have yet to find one in the Seattle area in the Seattle area that manages time efficiently and treats me like this. 
you know, I actually have a friend in Seattle and I cannot remember where she is, but we are educators together and she is an absolutely amazing stylist. And I can tell you now time management for her is everything. Um, I am going to find her name and then I'll, and I'll mention it on my next live so you can potentially talk to her. I hear that a lot too. Like I'm still the stylist that say, could you tilt down for me, please? I still say, please, every time mm -hmm. I ask them to do something. And some clients are looking at me like, just move my head. Just push mm -hmm. my head. That's rude as hell. Don't push my damn head. Don't push my head. That's what I was waiting for. I thought she was going to head. No, nah, the hell, the lies you yeah. and I would tell. Like, I would have to turn Okay, because I am one of those where that's just very disrespectful to me. Some clients want the stylist to take control. Sweetheart, this ain't your man. This is a hairstylist. Right. She should not be pushing your head around. Ain't nothing she's doing re required for her to push my head around. Don't do that. Um, Jay says, Jay, Jay W, sorry, says, the last time I got braids, the lady stopped doing my head to do someone else's. I would be all done. For you to do braids, see now with braids and sew ins, like with her sew in, I block out three hours on my schedule because I do not like to do services like this and stop. I do not. I feel like it cuts down my momentum. It just, it takes too long. There's no reason why I can't just block it out. But you got stylists who want to make $9 million for the day. So they're going to act like they can do 20 lace frontals in one day at the same damn time. That's stupid. So for the person who was also asking, could the hair be straightened? Clearly, it is straight. Yeah. And it straightens very easily. And then by wetting it, it goes back to that nice wave. And this hair is Indian, by the way. I don't know if I said that before. Indian cashmere, Indian cashmere honey. Mm -hmm. Cashmere, honey. Cashmere. Like an expensive cashmere sweater. Um, which one was that? Was Charms Paranormal. Says, hey, Crystal. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, welcome. Lady Love Natural. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey girl. And Carol says yes, please. For that information on Seattle. Yes, I will find it for you. Shayla is a sweetheart, by the way. She good? Mm-hmm. Do you know how I am with that? <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> I, I see you jumping around that right. hold your ear for me because I want to put your um, nimble on your ear. Okay, this hair hot. It's hot? Miss <laughs> Star. Hi, I'm from I'm Lisa from Houston. Why didn't your client just buy straight hair for the bob? It seems like a lot of work. Um, well she didn't buy the hair. I buy she gets the hair from me, so I provide it. And I only use this hair. I don't like straight Indian hair because that means that they had to process it to get it straight. And she didn't want straight hair. A lot of times people want to be able to do different things. So if it's straight and then when she goes to go in the water or something of that sort, you want to come out still looking like like Tyra, like, you know? Yeah. Versatility. Versatility. And then she didn't want straight hair because she's natural. So she doesn't want it to be straight or it's not going to match her curl pattern that she has. I'm going to tilt this up. Um, I'm in need of a trim bag, but I had so many bad experiences. I'm beginning to have... Dot, dot, dot. Wait for you to finish that part. Um, oh, bad, bold nightmares. Oh, wow. But don't wait too long. Even if you have to go to hair cuttery to get a trim, go somewhere. Um, should it be? Hi, Crystal. I placed my oil yesterday. I'm super excited to use your products. I'm 4C, um, part Sahara Desert. So. <laughs> 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 Your products can't help me. That about took me out. Listen, your 4C parts I have in the desert. Really? I love you guys for being so honest. I am thank you guys so much. YouTube family looks out. Like my YouTube family definitely looks out for me. Thank you guys so much. 
And then I've been getting awesome reviews, so I'm just like even more excited. You're welcome, Star. Um, Brandy, Crystal, can you apply your elite growth elixir or goddess serum to the ends of your hair as well? Yes. It's not just for the scalp, but when you're applying it to the hair, keep in mind you're going to use a very light amount. It's extremely potent. So a small amount goes a very long way. Or what you can do is if you've already applied it to your scalp, then you'll just run your fingers through your hair so it'll go all over instead of just on the scalp. I've been watching you for a while. I wish you were in Michigan. Lady Michigan. Love. You know what's crazy? Michigan used to be the mecca of hair and then it transferred to Atlanta. It used to always my be. wife loves your purse. Oh, I want her no. purse. Yeah. yeah. My wife wants it too. Oh. It said um, Aldo. Where? Aldo. It's an Aldo bag. Aldo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aldo. 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 It's an Aldo bag. It's an umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Even I said it. it. Yeah, her bag is cute. Even I said that bag is cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can all you guys go to the bathroom for just a minute? No. <laughs> And then you come back and your bag is gone. Right. If he didn't take it, I would take it. <laughs> Some of them like this. Oh. You stupid. I can't stand her, by the way, y'all. Ash is so much trouble, guys. Just so everybody watching, this person over here, her is straight trouble. Straight trouble. When will I do a pop-up shop in Seattle, baby? I couldn't even tell you that. That one is not even a thought on my head to go all the way to Seattle. I would love to visit just to see what it looks like, though. I heard it's so green in the summer. Brandy said, well, we want to see the bag, too. Show the bag. Bring No, the bag is bomb. I'm going to get this bag. Look at that bag. And then it has the chain. I want that bag. Say, everybody say, ooh. <laughs> no, that bag is cute. Ah. I thought it was like a Gucci bag or something when she came. I'm like, where did you get that? She said, Aldo. I'm like, Aldo. <laughs> you need to take your show on the road. I will. I will. Like, I do New York pop-ups, but I'm no disrespect to my New Yorkers. I love New York, but I'm bored. New York. I'm bored. <laughs> Thank you, John. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Everybody saying your bag is hot. Thank you. She's going to leave it with me. Oh, you, you got quiet on that one, didn't you? I going to get it. You also get one. You know. Hair is cute. No, Aldo is stepping up. They're mm -hmm. stepping they, up. They've always had some stuff. Right. Bags and shoes. I love their shoes. Like a good pair too. Right. I love all the pumps too. Yeah. I wear a lot of pumps. They're comfortable. I and love their pumps. Nice. Look, Aldo says about to spike. Girl, <laughs> Aldo better pay me. Right. Do you ever come to Virginia? No, I don't. I, I'm gonna be honest, guys. My only pop up that I've ever done was in Brooklyn, New York, and I did that twice, trying to feel it out and see how I liked it, if I really like doing it or not. And pop-ups are cool. I'm going to do one sometime this year before the year is over. I just don't know where yet. But I think it'll most likely be on the East Coast somewhere. I said Philly, but I'm not sure. I have a lot of people asking me to go to Atlanta, and I'm like, why would you miss anyone in Atlanta when there's 9 billion hairstylists there? Can't wait till you get in this head, Christina. Thank you, Christina. Still waiting on that Chicago pop up. I'll, I'll think about it. Chicago, you know, I'm from there. It's just like, what is there? Maybe because I'm from the suburbs. I don't know. I think it's delayed. It's just showing you the bag. It's just not showing you the bag? Yes. Oh, yeah, yours is delayed. Um, Come to Jersey. Come to Philly. Okay, let's see if I can translate this. Hola, estoy aquí, no Basil. Asistindo, está muy tan lindo. I think you said that the assistant is pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. 
Let that please be what she said. <laughs> because I, I don't know no. where you came from with an assistant. It's because assistindo, assistant, mm-hmm. it says, hola esto, aquí no basil, assistindo está muy lindo. Lindo is pretty. I think she was talking about your hair. Denise Del, Del, Da Silva, <laughs> do you speak English? Can Not you, your face. Can you, um... Translate that. Please. I just do massive shade, y'all. Just whatever. So you know. I'm a truck driver. What can I do to take better care of my hair, Latrice? Ooh, Latrice, it's going to be very complicated for you because if you are a nationwide truck driver, that means that you are always on the go and you're going to have fine stylists everywhere you go, which everybody should not have their hands in your head at one time. I feel it for you. So if you want to do your own hair care on the road, since you're always on the road, and as hard and as crazy as this sounds where whenever you stop to sleep and take your shower then you do a wash day so you get a good moisturizing shampoo and conditioner and wash your hair with that and it gives you a good strengthening um shampoo and conditioner and then you alternate with that and you just have to take matters in your own hands because i don't i wouldn't say to go and find a stylist in every city you stop in you're, you're going to be extremely aggravated I see Midwest pop up in your future. Midwest might be it. It might be Chicago. I might have to go back to my hometown of Evanston, of the old people. Um, I'm from the West Indies, and I love your chair, and I wish you were closer to me. Hi, West Indies. Yeah. My family's from Jamaica. I was actually there earlier this year. What part of the West Indies are you? So, could you guys believe yesterday I went to use this iron and it has warped. I am so pissed. This is the third one. Like, you see how this baby doesn't close? It doesn't close. Now I have to go spend another hundred and odd dollars. Again. Can your, can your hair products be used on natural brown or gray white women hair? Yes, but you're going to use it in moderation. Keep in mind, your texture is always fine. So you are going to use sporadic. You won't need as much. So when you use those products, because they are oil-based product, and you're only going to use like literally a drop and distribute that through. Hello. Hi. And she's from Trinidad and Tobago. Hey, my husband's from Trinidad and he's from Santa Cruz. Trinidad, jump up. Sugar bee, Crystal, my relaxed hair is broken in different places from postpartum shame. The back of my head looks like a perk. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm sorry. It looks like a parking lot. It's just a description. <laughs> Why did you use that description? Okay, the back of my head looks like a parking lot, and the sides look like people hike on it. <laughs> people hike on it. I'm just like, I'm crying. Wait, wait. <laughs> the back of my head. Let me get through this. Okay. The back of my head looks like a parking lot, and the sides look like people hike on it. People hike on it every Tuesday. I'm oh, so sorry. Get. Description is driving me wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the question? Keep going, keep going. There's no question. She's just saying my hair is broken. She had black hair. So what I'm going to suggest is, number one, you need to get a stylist and get a corrective cut or a cut or a trim, um, whichever they would recommend. Then you also need to make sure that you have a good regimen after that cut because nothing's going to work until you get that hair taken care of, evened out, treated, that kind of thing. And then if you're one of those people where you prefer to do your hair care at home, you can definitely utilize my products, um, which is the shampoo and the conditioner, hair repair and um, growth conditioner and shampoo, Lord. And then if you are one that is going to go into the salon, just make sure that you talk with your stylist about what your goals are so she knows like what you're going through. And if they don't understand what you're going through, then that's not the stylist to go to. But your description, absolutely bomb.
Child, please save your money. Get a hammer and beat your flat iron clothes. Listen, I can't because I do hair. Like I use this iron so much, I don't have a choice. Mind you, those irons are one hundred and seventy-five dollars. From the Moreno Valley, we need great stylists out here. Where's that? Where's Moreno Valley? Should I just? She finished the question. Should I start over or should I just trim and I go? Well, because I can't see your hair. I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Um, what I would suggest is booking a virtual consult with me. A virtual consult is a 30 minute consultation where you and I get to look at each other face to face via video phone, Skype, or you know whatever video app you have. Typically I use Skype. Um, and that's when I can evaluate your hair to the best of my ability. I also help you find a stylist in the area that is best suited for what you need. Um, and we also talk about a hair care regimen, that kind of thing. That consult is $35. So I keep it as low as possible. And you come with, with whatever questions you have, that kind of thing, and we get you taken care of. And then I actually find a stylist for you instead of you, you know, trying to go through the masses and not really find anyone. So for you to do that, you'll just hit the book link on my website, which is EliteHairCareUSA.com, and you'll be able to book that consult. And it's a one-on-one, -on -one. it's not a group setting. Oh, that's the California. Okay. Yeah, California does have those kind of names. You're right. A part of me said it was, but I, well, I didn't want to be disrespectful. Put you in Mexico somewhere. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Here you go. Is it funny like the other one? Yeah. Here she go. I'm going to go back. Monique said that is standard material. That was funny regarding her parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was standard material. <laughs> Sorry, um, babe. All right. This girl says, is there any of your products that would help with the hair I have left? I have fine, soft, naturally hair. Soft hair naturally. It will. Um, I'm going to use you as an example. So my client here has the same hair that you have. Do you use my product? Yes. Which one do you use? The Goddess Drops. So she uses the Goddess Hair Repair Serum on her hair. She's also color treated, which her hair is in great condition. Um, we're doing this sew in because she's going to a wedding, but she's also a high lift color at that. So I'll bring you guys close. And she uses my Goddess Serum as well. But she's not short of hair. But she has fine textured hair too. Yeah, say mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> so definitely got his hair repair serum and the crazy part is she got regular strength when i still had regular strength you can get extra strength now oh, I got deleted, but um the girl was like well get off alive and we could do this thing girl the <laughs> i only do the consults on mondays and tuesdays so when you go to book you actually choose the date and time available for that consult. So you choose your date and time, but based on your convenience and yeah. just ask. Okay. Look at that hair. Swing that hair for me, honey. Swing that hair. Oh, oh. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get you cut. So even though this is a weave, I am still going to cut her with a cutting cake so I can see better. Yeah, here we go. Hello, I'm from Milwaukee. I'm a fellow hair, sorry. Hello, I'm from Milwaukee. I'm a fellow hair stylist to your channel, new to your channel. I love what I see about healthy hair. That's what I've been preaching about. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Miss Milwaukee. Sherry. Sherry. Nice to meet you, Sherry. Fellow hairstylist in the house. All right, so what you guys see me doing is I'm using my clippers in open 
and I'm just kind of thinning out the ends, but I'm not going to give it a very blunt cut. So I'm using the clippers on purpose because I don't want it to have a hard line. And then I'm going to go to half post. You can use your razor blade and do this too. But my clippers are to... Thank you. So I use my clippers just like I would a razor blade. And then just go through and just kind of, I don't want to give her too much of a blunt cut only because she might wear it in the wavy state. And then we're going to do some notching to take some of the weight out. Most people want to take out their razor and razor it away, but I wasn't taught using a razor. I was taught using my shears, and then I can use the razor if need be, but I like my shears. It makes me feel like I didn't invest the umpteen thousand dollars for no reason. And then in the front, I'm just kind of giving some I'm slicing just to give her some layers. And then I'm going to over direct it. So I went from the front and over directed it towards the back. Just to give her some layering. Cheers. Hey, Optimus Prime. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't you dare. Ready to crack up. So I don't know what just happened, but I really need help with my dry hair. I'm 60 years old and I live in Middleton, Connecticut. Can you please help me? It depends on the reason why your hair is dry. What do you suspect is the culprit? When she finished, you all have see a monster face? Huh? I don't know. Jay, Cat, one of you, block mode. I'm not, I'm not with the foolishness. Even if it wasn't a crazy comment, block mode. Took down Those are those are the dumb dumbs that come. You get a lot of trolls. They're not playing. Let's just delete it. Go on. You get a lot of hounds. She said, I, I have no idea. When did it start? You gotta have some type of idea, babe. Like, when did it start? That kind of thing. I right, took down for me, mama. She's diabetic. Mm. Are you taking a lot of medication? Shuki says, thank you. I'll book my consultation ASAP. You're welcome, sugar babe. BB says that looks so natural. Thank you. That's the reason why I like to use this hair. Watch your phone. That phone broke anyway. Almost 12 months ago. Almost 12 months ago. I'm not sitting with your phone call. About 12 months ago. What was the question for her again? Is that the one that's diabetic? She's she diabetic, right? She's diabetic. She was diagnosed with diabetes 12 months ago? Oh, 
Um, yeah, and then <clears throat> she don't know what happened. She just really needs help with her dry hair. I think it's your endocrinologist that you talked to about that. Into your hair, which, and then I'd also Google it too. Just Google what type of diabetes you have and put dry hair and see what studies come up. Listen, Kat, Jay, and Glaze, I told her I said block radioactive. They don't even play. She said she takes the pills. Teresa. Teresa, like I was saying before, talk to your endocrinologist first, babe. Especially if it's something that just started, definitely talk to your endocrinologist first. Or your um, family practice or Giving her some I'm so sorry, I left you out. I was just definitely thinking about that just now. I think we should have a bridal cheese Thank you. Sharina. <clears throat> Sharina says, would you recommend hair, skin, and nail vitamins with androgenetic alopecia? That part you'd have to ask your dermatologist, babe. I can't answer that question. I mean, vitamins won't hurt, but here's the thing. I don't know the extent of what you're going through. I've never seen you. So I would definitely take take that question to your dermatologist and see what they would recommend. Sometimes vitamins are not what they want you to do. So for something like that, definitely talk to your dermatologist. Um, <clears throat> Sharina, Sharina says, would you, no, I'm sorry, not Sharina. Teresa said, I'm using sweet almond oil and rosemary oil with leave in conditioner. That's cool. Sweet almond oil is great. Rosemary oil sounds like an oil that's like a eucalyptus, so be careful with that. This oil can be drying. I am in the process of growing my natural hair, and it's working. And it's working good, but I use one system and shampoo line that will keep my hair from drying. Um, with this Cali Dry Heat, the growth serum work. Say after that again. I am in the process of growing my natural hair. I and it working good, but I want to use the one system. I want to use one system and shampoo line that will keep my hair from drying out with this Cali dry heat. The growth serum work. I guess you're trying to say does the growth serum work? The growth serum will work, but you'd have to infuse with your moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. So it's gonna help, but you still have to use a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. She says that I did have some breakage a couple months ago. Then it started. Then I started using black seed oil on my hair every day. Is that good? Black seed oil is very good. Very very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Sharina said the alopecia is not all over her head. And okay with the crying lady. See, with alopecia, even though it's not all over your head, that's just meaning the type you have. It doesn't mean that it's always going to go like universal or totalis. Like, it can go to that extent. But keep in mind, all alopecia cases are different. So, it's kind of like hard to tell, baby. 
Sharina, Teresa, and the uh, Cali girl. Also, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, girls. You're welcome, girls. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> I'm almost hungry now, guys. I know the Snickers appetite is kicked. <laughs> I'm almost done though. After I curl her and get her, I'm about to throw her ass out of here. Wow. Dot 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 junior. No me, no me. Do I need Lanisha says, do I need the growth serum even though I have the regular serum? You mean if you already have the goddess hair repair serum? Okay, so here's the thing. If you have the Goddess Hair Repair Serum, you don't need the Growth Elixir. The Goddess Serum alone will suffice for that. So if you have the Goddess Serum, you do not need the Growth Elixir. The Growth Elixir was created for those who do not like CBD or they're afraid of CBD or maybe their job has warned them against it, that kind of thing. But the Goddess Serum is non-THC. And that formula has strength, growth, and repair. So it's across the board. If you shake your head one more. She's in here shaking her head like she wants to shake her head for some strange reason. She just needs the world to see that she has her hair done. It's okay. Hi. How y'all doing? Hey, babe. Hi, I'm sorry. It's okay. What are you going to do, Nicole? Just, oh, I need you to cut this. This shag I'm going back to. You're going to wash? Yes. Yes, that's the one. Yes, that is the one. That is the one. My sister. Okay. Big brother. <laughs> I'm happy that he's the one. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Do you have a similar type hair for a crochet braids? No, I don't. I do not, babe. Okay, so this hair needs to be layered some more. She's getting a regular wash. All right, so we're gonna tame her hairline. If I can find my, ah, my brush. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and all in her damn face. Yep. So we are going to use our goddess, goddess, I'm so used to this. Our Elite Control Edge Tamer infused with CBD. I'm going to use the charcoal color because her roots are darker, even though her hair is a, brownish colorish color ish <laughs> so i'm gonna use about that much and i'm going to dab it on her hairline because her hairline is a little finer texture it's not that she has lost hair that's just her hairline it's been that way for years now so i just dabbed it on the hairline take my brush this is how you really blend it in guys if you notice i'm not just no. That looks very nice. Thank you. Yeah, girl, it's said your hair look nice. Your hair look nice. Yes, look at the hairline. Oh, yeah. Can she wrap it at night? Definitely. She's going to have to. So let's do... The front of her head. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the front part of her head, guys. Here, we put it all in your face. And go to the back. Step to the back. All right. So we're gonna use a little bit here as well. And if you notice, I'm not smothering it. Now, if you're natural and you're trying to hold down your natural textured hair and you'll use a little bit more for her. 
she's going to a wedding, so I don't want to do too much. So back for me. Take my edge brush. <laughs> and blend that baby in. I'm not going to mess with the hair over here because why am I going to do that if it's going to be covered anyway? Right? Right. I'm just going to take that. Turn that way for me. <laughs> Good I was a Sebastian Shaper. Just to help blend her hair. Do you see? And then this side wants to go and then this side doesn't want to go. So let's do it. I don't like the side. You like this side? A little shorter. You make this side a little shorter? Yeah, I'm gonna make it shorter. Let's make it shorter, people. We're gonna make it shorter. Okay. <laughs> All right, peeps, let's take it back. Let's take it back, honey, let's take it back. Yes, yes. I'm gonna keep them when I put that piece back too, so. I'm gonna put this side back, just a smidge it. Just so we kind of look the same. I'm just gonna just smell fabulous, smell fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. I see your eyeballs on your ash. Okay, you should have me. I literally wasn't even paying No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay. You get, you get angry when you're hungry. Bonita. Sorry, mom. <laughs> She's all done, peeps. Yes, honey. Yes. Say yes, honey. <laughs> all right guys she's all done so i am about to sign off on today thank you guys so much for joining my live don't forget the summer sizzle sale is going on right now that includes sewings guys her sewing Hush. price will be on her book i won't don't think of, no okay but the summer sizzle sale is going on keep in mind you have to use code summer to get a 30 percent off everything on the site including my bundles those are on there as well um, if you guys have any other hair care questions, you can definitely comment down below. For those of you who are watching this in the replay, the summer sale ends on the 30th. So get to, on to the sites and get to the shops, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching.